welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helen, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And today I have a card to show you or it's how to make a kind of a fun fold. It's a fun fold and it does that easel. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? So I've been digging through my paper and just trying to clear some things out. So everything I am using is from recycled paper or retired paper. Recycled's not quite the right word. Retired. And some of these things are retired, but the thing is, is I need to clean things out and I'll put these on my um, website to be sold and and I'll get this cardstock even though I like it, I love it, out of my house. So this will be available and then the one I am going to show you is available. But I also am trying to show you some things that you can do. You don't have to always buy new stamps and punches and such, which always gets expensive. But you do always need more cardstock. So if you ever need just cardstock for me, please check my online store. Um, I have provided list of everything I have used below here and this link is here here through YouTube so just just keep on scrolling down alright so what you start off with is a piece of basic black cardstock you will come in and score at four and a quarter score and fold Oh gosh, I don't even know where my bone folder is. But not important right this second because before I do that, I'm going to cut at one and a quarter. So I'm going to go up to four and a quarter. So I'm over here at four and a quarter and I'm going to drag this down. Okay? And this cuts this flap right there. Right at four and a quarter. Then I am going to move over here to four inches. And I'm going to go back up to that four and a quarter mark where I made that score line and cut as well. Oh no, this should have been one and a half. Shoot. So that should be one and a half. Shoot. I'll have to start over. All right. Well, bear with me for a second while I get a new piece of cardstock. All right, I am back again. We'll try this again. Score at four and a quarter. Cut. Okay, you're gonna line it up with one and a half. Go up to four and a quarter. Draw that down, bring that down. And then line up with four inches. Go back up to four and a quarter and bring that down. Okay, so you've got a, your black paddle with three little, three little bumps. Okay, my bone folder has managed to take a walk. Let's see. Here we go. All right. So I'll go ahead and fold all these down, increase them now. Like so. Okay. Then on the I will take some glue. Clean that off. Alright. And then so I'm just gonna put my inside panel because very few people have the markers that write on black. Okay, so this is just a piece of basic white that I am going to put to the inside of this. And it's four by four and a quarter. And then we're going to go about doing a work to the inside. Uh, I can't remember how wide this piece is. Two and a quarter. All right, so now I've got a piece of basic white cardstock that is two and a quarter by four that I'm going to put on that larger inside panel. 
Okay, and then these other two little panels. I'm going to put little white, basic white panels that are one and a quarter by four. Okay, like so. And then I've got some DSP. This is the Ornate Garden DSP paper. And I will go ahead and place this on here. These are one, I've got two one by three and three quarter inch pieces. Okay. And then I also have one that is two by three and three quarters. They all coordinate together. All right. Next, actually, I'm going to let that dry for just a moment because we're going to fold that in half. Um, Try to get a piece of basic white. I'm going to stamp on this in Old Olive. My sentiment, okay, my sentiment I picked was Happy Birthday, and that comes from Peaceful Moments. All right. I'm just going to clean off my stamp. All right. And then this lines up with the double oval punch. So in here, I'll just line it up and punch. Throw that away later. Okay. And then the color, because it is coordinating, I've got to coordinate with that, is Old Olive. I'm going to layer it with a piece of Old Olive. And I'm dropping pieces over here. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I put it away. So, and line that up. Now I think I'm finished with that. All right, I'm going to attach that to my piece of old olive. And then I'm going to take a little bit of dimensionals and pop it up. Oh, and I picked, pulled those off and I'm not sure I'm quite ready to do that. Because I'm going to take this and I'm just going to bend it in half. And the reason I didn't do score lines is because I got three pieces of paper there. And I just want to make sure that they all line up correctly. If you don't, guess what? It may not work quite as nicely. I just find that that's the case. And so in order for that to kind of give you that easy look, you're going to put that inside there like that. Very cute and sweet. All right. And obviously, use the sentiment that you need. If you want congratulations, thinking of you, 
I mean, use, use what you need type thing. All right, and to finish this card off, I, I pre-die cut from the layering circles a scalloped white, basic white, and a basic black circle. And I am just going to glue those together like so. And then thing was, here's the trick. Remember you only want to put, you can, there, that's better. You only want to put a little bit on the very bottom because you're putting it right here. And so if you put glue on the equivalent of the backside here, it's going to stick there. And guess what? It won't do the easel pop up very well. So don't, don't make that mistake. I did that on the last one. And I went, oh, I knew better. Okay. So then to put on the inside, I'm going to punch two daisies and I am using the larger daisy punch. You can use a smaller daisy punch. It truly doesn't matter. And you could adjust you could adjust that circle accordingly if you want to use that smaller daisy punch too. All right. So I got those two daisies. And I think the paper that coordinates with this is Bumblebee, but I've also used Daffodil I've, uh, and used um, Crush Curry. They both seem to work on this. And so I'm just going to glue these down. Like so. Okay. Now, that looks a little blase. We need our center. And I'm getting out a piece of soft suede. And I'm going to use the circle punch. This is an old half inch retired circle punch. Um, but if you don't have one, don't worry. You could take this punch here and you can just cut off the little stem or the petals to get that circle. Um, in years past, there's been an alphabet that has r ex roughly that exact half inch size. There are all sorts of things that have kind of like a half inch circle. So don't worry if you don't have one of those things. I mean, there are so many things you can scavenge to find that. Um, but here, let me show you the trick. If you look at this one, this is a, that piece of paper has been three dimensioned. It's been given a, instead of this flat dimension, we've kind of given it a third dimension. So I take my take a pick tool and I use my largest ball and I make circles in here on this and I go round and round and round and round. And it kind of looks like you're ripping up the paper a little bit and that's exactly what you're doing kind of thing. And it gives, let me hold that still for you. Okay. So on the underside, it kind of looks like it's pulled up the paper and it kind of has, but it, it's what gives that, that dimension to it that makes it like the perfect thing for daisies. And so let's see. Now I need to find the right dimensional. I just dropped them. All right. Okay. And so I need a little mini dimensional. I'll put in there. And I'll finish this off like so. And look at that. Isn't that just amazing? And uh, I mean, and then that sits out like on that on the table for people. And so they always have this beautiful flower. Always love these. I just like 
these funky fun fold cards. So look at that. Isn't that great? Um, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. If you would like any of the items I have shown you here today, please shop my online store. Grant you, I know a lot of these are retired, but you know, if you just need even some, just some cardstock, some of the are your basic colors that helps tremendously. Um, you can also check out my website, BigSkyCards.com, where I will have this as a kit, and you don't need anything but glue. It comes with the dimensionals, it comes with everything punched, stamped, etc., etc. And even if you don't want the happy birthday stamp, you can request a different stamp so that it's not a big deal. Um, and that's BigSkyCards.com. And if you have any questions, please send me a little, little message and I'll get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks. Bye.